and so you're gonna eat like a local. But we wanna talk about dim sum. There's two different styles of dim sum. Knowing that it's a tea service, traditionally, there's a cart service style dim sum, and then there's one that you just sit back and you order what you want. I'm gonna start this off at HK Dim Sum. They've been here since 2008. Always been one of my favorites. They make everything super fresh. They don't buy any of the ingredients. They make it all here. So we go in and talk to Lisa. Her son Andy's running the kitchen now. One of my favorite spots. HK Dim Sum yeah. is one of the special places in my heart. Thank you so much. Yeah. I've been coming here a long time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Dim Sum is for tea. Yeah. And, and there's two different styles. You've got one that is cart service where everything's being made and then it you know, travels around the dining room. You're like, yes, I want this, I want this, yeah, I want this. Yeah, yeah, but here I get a menu and I just say this, this, this. Yeah, yeah, everything's the, going in the yeah, steamers, the everything's going in fast, the fryer. Same like the fast because of the quick, yeah, you go. Yeah. A lot of people come in. You know, there's a lot of restaurants out there that do dim sum. But there's just something special about coming here where I know when I order it, it's being made freshly and your textures and flavors are pretty much perfect. And you spent a lot of time, almost your entire life, mm -hmm. making this style of food, My yeah? My is a Hong Kong dim sum mm -hmm. professional tip. So professional dim sum yeah, in Hong Kong. Yeah, uh -huh. so, Himbo for, for boss, they have for Canada for dim sum. Where at in Canada? Uh, Toronto. Yeah, so you moved from Hong Kong. Hong Kong for Toronto. To Toronto. Can, yeah, I come for here. Uh, 2000, 2000 come for American. There the people, oh, the Canada, the seafood, the meat, the food good. So it was the, yeah. the migration of people coming in to, from China into Hong Kong, into Canada, yeah. into Vancouver, yeah. and then bringing that skill down here into Houston. Mm -hmm. It really changed the game of, yeah, of yeah, Dim Sum. Yeah, I came to Sambo for nine years already. So you worked for the Kim Sun family for yeah. nine years. And I'll tell you what, back in the day, that was one of the best places out there. So talking to your son and he told me that I was like oh it all makes sense now in 2008 you 2000 opened, opened for this you opened HK you decided yeah. to do it for yourself yeah this for myself <laughs> yeah this is where you see a lot of the chefs in the city go eat dim sum it's right here he I opened the dim sum he come here <laughs> yeah it's I, a good 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 nice one yeah it's good I probably yeah. started coming here in 2009 this area you know started to build 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 and then all of a sudden I see this spot and I'm like hey I, I gotta come eat here like you're Hargao yeah, Hagao. You went by the dim sum too. Like I had the little crispy one with the mixed <laughs> meat. Come on. Oh. I once I, I had a restaurant at one point in time, and I was like, I need to know how to make this dumpling skin. And she kept telling me, she kept telling me, she kept telling me. It's like I couldn't get it right. So finally, she's just like, here, and just gave me the dough. And I took it to the restaurant and made these. It was absolutely beautiful. But your hand and skill is unparalleled. You have dim sum. You look at it, and it's like, well, this could be just one place making it and selling it to all of them. You make everything here. Yeah, I make everything here. Everything I make, I don't go buy outside. Yeah, no. Everything I do myself. Everything I do myself. Well, you let me have the yeah. opportunity to come back and watch in the kitchen one day, and it was just, yeah. it blew my mind. Yeah. Like, the doughs, the dumpling, like, everything. The paste everything, for the stuff. Everything, this hot, yes. You make everything. Yeah, well, everything. So this is, like, table number <laughs> They just start clipping these on the sides of the dishes. <laughs> they know where it's going. It's a very intricate system. And then all of the orders coming in. Like these are just for steamer baskets where they're dropping the, the dumpling sets in and stack and get up. When we talked about the, uh, the rice noodle, this is the base for that. So it's almost like just like a rice flour and water. This will come up, they'll pour it, cover it, and then when the rice noodle starts to set, they'll lay whatever the stuffing is, the, the filling, the shrimp or the dry shrimp or the mushroom or the beef or the pork, and then <laughs> roll it and put it up. Come on over. So this is one of the dumplings that I love the most, and it's, it's just called the mixed meat dumpling, but this dough is four different types of flour and starch in it, right? And so when this fries with the dumpling, it gets super crispy and almost poo like chewy and stretchy. It's, I haven't ever had anything like it, but she yeah. let me learn how to do this. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. yeah this is my yeah. favorite. 
I can't wait to show you. This one's a good one. All right, this is how you're gonna order dim sum. 101, how to get it done. Got your sheets. You've got all the dishes here, steamed. Chow fung and vegetables. So chow fung is kind of a, a rolled rice noodle, pan fried and deep fried, desserts, kanji. All right, so this is all numbered. And right here is where you get all of the visual aspects to each one of those numbers. Most things come in either sets of three or four, and it'll tell you here. Anywhere from six bucks to, or five bucks to eight bucks, just get a bunch of stuff and, and it comes out really quickly. So you can always order more. Um, just try a bunch of different things. First, you gotta get your tea, right? Beautiful pot of tea. Now, middle, people get a little weirded out and not really sure what to do with this. So here, red vinegar, right, for acidity. Soy, for salt, your chili sauce, and then it's always my favorite, and this is just like a, a crushed chili paste oil that they make here. My move, I take this, I take a lot of the oil off. I just set, put that crushed chili right there. I look at the vinegar and then I put it back. I look at the soy sauce and I put it back. I don't need it. This is what I need, right? But for all palettes are different. Everybody can get into doing whatever they want. That's the beauty of it. You can go through these dumplings real quick. So this is a shrimp and spinach dumpling. Um, that's steamed, kind of more of a tapioca starch. See that? It's like uh, more of like, you think of like that mochi. You know, I'll, I'll cut into this so you can kind of see what's here. That's really beautiful, right? I go right there, half and half. Delicious, textually fantastic. Here, when I first started eating dim sum, this was the one that kind of blew my mind. Um, so this is basically taro, um, like the root vegetable that's made into a paste. Um, and then there's mixed meat inside, pork, vegetables. And so when we break this open, like, that's what you're looking at. The easiest way to wrap your head around this is, it's like a mashed potato ball with meat in it. I can do this all day. This is one of my favorites too, pan fried turnip cake, Chinese sausage in it, XO sauce, and then kind of shredded, steamed together, and then pan fried. This is one of those dishes that I truly love. Um, my wife, not so much, but it's just like the soft rib pieces that are cut, marinated, and steamed. So it's one of those things that, like, if you don't mind, this is one of those, the work is part of it because as you eat it, there's bones, there's cartilage, but you're just chewing off all of the soft meat and then you're you know, getting rid of the, the bone. Um, shumai, so pork and shrimp, kind of done into a paste and then steamed. And they have different variations of this. There's a shrimp one, there's a beef one, then the pork and pork and shrimp. Shanghai style dumpling, so just twisted, delicious. This is awesome. So this is just straight up a, like a, fried shrimp dumpling, right? Um, so it's just a puree of shrimp on the inside with the dough. Uh, and the, the really killer part about this is a little bit of sriracha or chili sauce and then mayonnaise. <laughs> I couldn't stop myself. They're so good. Hi, right, gal. Look at that. That is, that is heaven. It's perfect. Everything that she does with this. If you're a shrimp fan, it just doesn't get better than that until you come over to here. Normally, I just put this on a plate and eat the whole thing, but it's just a beautiful rice noodle. It's so simple. So this is what we're in the back making, that really soft rice flour that's got four different starches in it. But the texture on this, it's all bubbly and crispy, right? Look at that. Oh, well, wow. <laughs> everything here is made in-house. It's not packaged, it's not bought. This is just little bites, conversation with your friends and your family, learning about something new, new textures, new flavors. I mean, this is the best picture I've seen in a long time. <laughs> I just love this. So what do you want to order here? Hargao, steamed shrimp dumplings, shumai. I like the steamed ribs, Shanghai dumplings, fantastic. 
Also, the mixed meat dumpling, and then the little fried shrimp dumpling. Heading over to Fung's. Cart service over there, not the same, but just as good. All right, so today, I want to check this out, right? We've talked about sitting down and ordering dim sum, but we haven't really explored cart service yet. We're here at Fung, Saturdays and Sundays cart service. It's like a NASCAR race with food. It's amazing. Carts just show up. You're gonna pick and choose what you want. They just keep rolling through. The next one's gonna come. It's like an onslaught all on your table at one time. You ready? Let's do this. Hoi Fung, Fung's Kitchen. 33 years yes. in the same location. Yeah. Running a restaurant for five years or 10 years is an accomplishment, but 33 years. Yeah, so it's not easy. Not at all. <laughs> but you guys, family runs strong in this place. And, yeah. And so now your whole family's in the business too, right? So your son Gilbert runs? Uh, dim Sum Box. Dim Sum Box Katie, out, yeah. out in Katy. Your daughter Dory is a culinary instructor. Yeah. She had a son, correct? Yeah. So the next generation of Fungs, huh? <laughs> Yeah, he <laughs> <You> like eating. He <laughs> like eating. I mean, we'll just keep it open a hundred years, right? Why because no, we have a five generation for the uh, restaurant, the business. Well, I feel like every time I come in here too, I see the same people. Oh yeah, always. You have an amazing retention of staff. Oh yeah, because no, uh, we just like all the uh, employees, uh, same like our family, you know. You open up here, what, 1990? 1990. 1990. Yeah. When we start, it's like 3,000 square foot. You started with 3,000 square foot. How big is this now? Right now, over 20. Over 20,000 square feet. Yeah. How many people can you see sitting here on a Saturday afternoon? Six. 600? Yeah. I believe that Fung's is very special to this city, not only just because it's been here for 33 years, but because you offer so much, right? There's dim sum. Yep. Also, I can come in here and get live spot prawns. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Live flounders, See, nice. king crabs, yeah. dungeness crabs, lobsters of all sorts. Like having the ability to just come in here and have a full on seafood Cantonese style dinner, but also have a couple of bites of dim sum is really not the norm. Well, so, this is not a cheap thing to do. Everything is individual, the system. Is yeah, more so but what you're saying is that. A lot of places will run the water filtration yep. system through all of the same yep. things. Mm -hmm. And yours is specifically filtering each yep. one. Each one. And that you can have the temperature. And that's not traditionally the norm. So we need to control really cool. <laughs> I could sit and watch these guys just cruise around all day long. I wouldn't get any work done if I worked here. You'd be yelling at me all the time. Hey, Chris, get to work. Where are these spot prawns coming from? Uh, uh, California. So Sp Santa Barbara? Yes, Santa Barbara. Yeah. And lobsters up there? Yeah, we have a... Uh, from the uh, East Coast? Yeah. For the uh, lobster, we can cook a different style. So, because like if I order a lobster, I can have what like four or five different ways of preparation. No more than. More than. More than. Okay. So we have a, I think we have nine nine style. Nine, nine. different styles. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You guys are record fast at cooking too. Like, I order something, it's fast. And it's just like you can come in, see them, they're pulling it out of the tank, and then it goes right back in the kitchen, and then it's done. Yeah. It's amazing what you're doing. Yeah. We know how to make it right, though. So, you know, the quality is the quality, you know. Yeah. You don't make it 33 years <laughs> not having quality and consistency. So what are the things people should come here and get? Hargau? Hargau, shumai, uh, uh, chicken feet. Hargau, shumai, chicken feet. I love the chicken feet And here. then the barbecue, uh, the bun. When I come here for dim sum, like the crispy pork? Mm -hmm. uh, crispy pork belly? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. It's so good. Oh yeah. The picking duck, the duck, and then the uh, the pork, roast pork, the king crab. You like everything here though. Because yeah. <laughs> everything here I've had has always been yeah, delicious. Because, no, as I walk in, you've given me what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna get some champagne, I'm gonna get a killer bottle of wine and just sit back and have my lobsters and my, uh, my king crab and my dumplings. And you guys have always had a mainstay of, of Quality wines. Oh yeah, the eating. It was like it's a post kitchen. Oh, oh yeah, you built the Instagram wall right there. Yeah. So the people and then we put the steamer. They look like it's a more Chinese style. Yeah. That's a good move. Yeah. Yeah. I want the quality. I want to look like nice. Uh, I want to make the people wow. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. All right. So when you come out, bongs, cart service, dim sum, 
It's perfect because most dumplings come in sections of four, so you bring four people, right? So I've got my wife, Lindsay, good friend Chris Vandewater, and his wife, Julie Sofer, and um, we're just gonna crush a bunch of dumplings and have a good time. So the thing about Fung's here is too, you get the dumpling aspect, you get the whole dim sum aspect, the tea service, but then also, if you really want to get crazy, hit these tanks up. You got king crabs, you got dungeness, you got live shrimp, you got eel, like you can go a whole menu if you want. So it's pretty amazing. Look at these carts though, yeah. So this is how it works out, right? So they just kind of show up. You've got a thing on your table. They're gonna mark what you want. We're gonna start, um, let's do some of the, the dumplings in the back. Yep, yes ma'am. And then some of the taro. Yes, ma'am. And then one of my favorite turnip cakes. And then so they, they'll mix the sweets in with the savory depending on where you're at in your meal. We'll get to the milk buns or the, the lava buns later. There you go, yeah. So the ubiquitous scissors everywhere. And then, you know what? Sometimes they come in three, so we gotta cut them up. One of my favorite ways to do this, it's like show and tell. What you got? Uh, we have a, a barbecue pop bun. Yes, here. sir. Okay. Yep. Would you like some? Yep. Okay. And then I have a. What is that? Malaysia cake. No, uh, not right now. All right. And then the lava bun steam. We'll do those later. All right. Okay. Later. Yeah. Okay. With the card service, you never know what's going to come out next. If you don't see what you want. Just wait, you don't have to order everything at once. You can do this for an hour or two hours if you wanted to. Here it comes again, here it comes again, here it comes again. Yeah, so we got Hargal coming. And so you can load the table up as much as you want. These are my favorite. Shumai? Do that. Yes, ma'am. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, so that's, I've never had this one. It's just like a sticky rice with shrimp. Rice is wrapped around it, steamed. So you want that? Yes, ma'am. Enjoy. Thank you. And so the rice cooks along with the dumpling. And so you get rice and shrimp. It's kind of it's kind of beautiful. I wanted to put that in my face real quick. They have a station as well. Grab your little card. Everything's up here. Fried noodles, green beans, curry fish balls, chicken wings. You want a fish head? You can order a fish head. You want pork blood with chives? You can order that. Oh, pork ribs, pig feet with ginger sauce. You're gonna try things you never get to try. A little custard. I don't know, I mean, that looks like a carrot, but I guarantee it's a dumpling, which is awesome. He's gonna bring a cart with lava buns. I'm gonna get some noodles. It's pretty awesome. Here we go again, more salads. And so it's just this all day long. So you've got roasted pork hocks, poached chicken feet, seaweed salads, mushrooms. We'll do the duck. This is yeah. You pick and choose what you want. So this is the ground pork. Pureed taro around it and fried, and it comes off with this little flaky crust when it's fried. Perfect. So as far as cart service, there's a lot of places around the city that do it, but Fung's been doing it for a very long time. Everything's made here in-house. The family's always here and they always just do a fantastic job. Some things you're gonna love, some things you might not order again. That's okay. But at three, four bucks a pop, it's really worth trying. It's the experience of it all. So. Those are beautiful. These are the shrimp that are basically over there in that tank. And he said Kung Pao version. So, I mean, shell on, head on. That's <laughs> awesome. Five minutes ago, those were swimming in the tank. Now it's in my mouth. That's <laughs> awesome. Coming up in Fung's. The lava bun. And some beautiful little rabbits made of coconut milk. 
and beautiful little piggies made of mango. So this is a tofu pudding and a little ginger sauce right across the top. So it's nice and warm and like heartfelt. Thank you. And then uh, lava buns. Can we do two of those? And what are these? What are the pigs and the bunnies? Mango. Mango? Mango forever pudding. This is a coconut pudding. Can we do one of each? Yeah, let's do it. And an egg tart. Okay. What is that? All right. So what I thought were carrots are definitely not, which I like. Maybe let's look at this. <laughs> a little mung bean in there. All right, but this right here, this is this is worth everything. So this is one of the only places that really gets these lava buns. Perfect. So it's a salted egg yolk that they make here in house. It takes 21 days to make the egg yolk, and then it's whipped, and then you get into this, and it's just perfect. Sweet dough, a crispy topping, and then this sweet. When we say salted egg yolk, it's, it doesn't come off salty. It's super sweet and just delicious. Perfect. So what's the order at Funks? I mean, sit back and look at everything. Try everything. But the hargau or the shrimp dumpling, the shumai, the lava buns, and then get something from the tank, maybe the live shrimp. Fried up crispy, fantastic. So when you're down on Bel Air, you want to get your dumpling fix on. One Dragon, absolutely fantastic. Golden Dim Sum, OG at its best. Crown Seafood, much like Fung's, you can get yourself a Dungeness Crab or a King Crab and get card service at the same time. But if you're out in Katy, Dim Sum Box is where to go. That's it, that's a wrap on Dim Sum, right? Every time you come in, whether it be card service here at Fung's or sitting down at HK or any one of your Dim Sum places that you wanna go to, it's always about learning and trying different things. Enjoy it, I'll see you next time. What's next, baby? That thing is, it's chewy, it's so hot. I'm gonna let it cool down before I put it in my mouth. Nailed it. What else do I like? Gotta get your veggies. Always a winner.